What do we have here on the posterior side? Cartilaginous rings. So it can't be mid-sagittal, can it? It has to be parasagittal. Okay, so we've got esophagus, the esophageal muscles, the ring, the mucous membrane, the lumen, the mucous membrane, and the ring. So this is the anterior side here. And so there's uh, a check for one other thing on this anterior side. Now, yesterday's slide, we got lucky. There was a thyroid gland out here. And we've got a chunk of thyroid gland. Okay. Now, one thing we haven't seen on the mucous membrane is what? Identify the cell indicated by the pointer. Goblet cell. Okay. And goblet cells produce? Mucus. mucus. And mucus is your friend. <laughs> if you're going into nursing or dental hygiene, better get used to mucus, right? Am I missing anything on the longitudinal view of this thing? Identify the tissue surrounding the arrow. Blood. Identify the, the cell indicated by the pointer. Why is it dark if it's a white blood cell? Has a nucleus. Identify the cells surrounding the pointer. Red blood cells. Red blood cells. Why are they stained so lightly? No nucleus. no nucleus. Good, good. Okay. Um, great goblet cells on that one. That's good. Okay. Now let's go on down and go to slide three of four. Okay, identify the organ in the field of view. The organ is? A what? Organ in the field of view is lung. Okay, identify the uh, individual cavity indicated by the tip of the pointer. The cavity is an? Alveolus, singular. Okay, identify the compound cavity surrounding the tip of the pointer. This compound cavity is an alveolar, alveolar sac. Okay, you notice this is just this has boundaries all around it close. This is an alveolar sac. Uh, this might be okay. Uh, an alveolar duct is going to be linear. Okay, now this might be a duct coming into a sac. What's the problem with, with this section here on, on determining this? These things go in all directions, don't they? These alveolar ducts and respiratory bronchioles and bronchioles, they're going in every which direction, and this is a unidirectional cut, isn't it? And so it cuts across them, and okay. Now here's a nice, fairly linear through a piece of, of airway, isn't it? Identify the airway in which the arrow resides. The airway is? Respiratory bronchiole. Now, why respiratory bronchiole? Okay, it's got the sacs off to the side, the alveoli, like this, doesn't it? And it's got the thicker tissue, which is like a cuboidal epithelium, separating where the alveolar sacs come off. And so these clumps of cuboidal tissue here tell us that it's a respiratory bronchiole. Take it on a higher uh, uh, level, and it, it's kind of cuboidal tissue. Not real. It's it's not classic like one of the ducts or something that we're looking at because this is random orientation in here. <coughs> okay, so that's a nice respiratory bronchiole. I want to go to low power and search. Okay, to find. Now see, now here is a cross section. Let's look at that one. Okay, what is the structure occupied by the arrow? It's a bronchiole, respiratory bronchiole. It's pretty solid around this side, but there's like some openings here. So it might be at the respiratory bronchiole level. What about this guy? 
pretty much a bronchiole, isn't it? Okay, the cuboidal epithelium, the thick, the thick, obviously non-respiratory membrane epithelium is pretty well lining everything, isn't it? What about this structure? What's this? Huh? What is this structure? Yeah, tell me. What? It's an artery, isn't it? Because of location, location, location. Yes, Jennifer. It's right next to the airway. See, this thing here, it's an artery because it's right next to the airway. Why is the wall so thin on this artery? No! Oh, no, Barb, there's no gas exchange in arteries. Arteries are conductors. Why is the wall so thin on this artery? Yes, you know, you didn't either forget. What kind of artery is it? Name it. Pulmonary artery, not bronchial. Pulmonary. Pulmonary arteries are going right alongside of the airway, what we can see down here in, in the corner, right? And what do we know about the pulmonary circuit in general? No, it doesn't. It's what? Low pressure. And so it has such low pressure, it doesn't need thick walls. Doesn't need those big muscular walls out in the systemic circuit. Doesn't need aorta type heavy thickness and, and radial artery type thickness uh, because it's just running 20, 25 millimeters of mercury. Not much pressure. And so um, it, it's going to be thinner walled. Okay? And uh, Is there no adipose in the there should not be adipose here inside the lung. Good so, point. So it's not everywhere. We just lost everywhere, didn't we? <laughs> From now on, you have to say everywhere except the lungs. <laughs> okay. Um, so what is this structure? Identify the structure occupied by the arrow. This structure is a? Vein. vein. Name it. Pulmonary. pulmonary vein. Okay. Get that practice in. Okay. Pulmonary vein. Uh, probably here too. It's not next to an airway. Pretty big, very thin walls. Okay. Um, ooh, structure? Uh, respiratory bronchial. Absolutely. And it's leading over here into a what? Uh, like an alveolar duct, maybe even, yeah. Uh, it, it's not a classic example, but it, it could be. Okay, getting in there. Um, I want to look for something here. Okay, identify the layer indicated by the, uh, or the membrane indicated by the pointer. It is the? Oh, you give me better than pleura. Visceral pleura. Okay, I mean, identify the tissue indicated by the pointer. That thin layer of tissue is, ooh, that was a hint. Simple squamous epithelium. By location, it's the? Not an endothelium. Not an epithelium. Mesothelium. Got one more try. <laughs> Mesothelium. Okay. Mesothelium, lining of ventral body cavity. And there's your connective tissue of the visceral pleura. Okay. So again, identify the cavity. Respiratory, Respiratory bronchiole. Um, I, well, identify the uh, cavity. Maybe alveolar duct, yeah. Identify the cavity. Alveolar sac. Okay, we're coming down to the end there. See, here's an alveolar sac. Pointers in an alveolar sac. Are there bronchioles in other parts of the body? Is that why we're so specific about respiratory? No, respiratory. Okay, g good question. Barb got a question there. And... Which makes me think suddenly, I, 